the team members, the CEO of the Niti Aayog, Amitabh Kant. Mr. Kant, congratulations. Uh, great work there with India's ease of doing business rankings. What to you is the most significant aspect of this World Bank report? Which is the bit which perhaps personally is most satisfying? Uh, Sonia, the most important thing is that uh, India has moved up in uh, six of the ten indices rank-wise. Mm -hmm. But if you look at the distance to frontier, that is the best practices, India has moved up in nine out of the ten. And therefore, what it shows is that India has carried out reforms across all indices. And actually, it has tried to compare itself with the world's best. And uh, my personal view is that uh, while we've made a massive quantum jump of 30, uh, which for a large country is, is something remarkable, uh, it's never probably happened. Uh, but if you look at the work which has been done in uh, registration of property mm -hmm. or construction of permit or starting a business, the methodology of World Bank actually, uh, you know, they, they see whether it's been implemented on ground, they get a lot of respondents to give a feedback, and therefore my view is that all that is work in progress, and probably in the year to come, or uh, two years time, you will uh, see India making again a very, very big jump, uh, simply because uh, there's huge amount of work has been done, there's been a huge political commitment to making India easy and simple. That's number one. And number two, I think mm -hmm. uh, departments are not working in silos. They are converging and integrating to deliver. It's interesting you said that because, of course, you saw the Prime Minister tweeting there about the mantra which has pushed this. And we know that last year there's some disappointment when India didn't actually move much. I think it moved just one rank in these ease of doing business rankings. How much do you think this makes a difference politically as well in terms of uh, the government has been slammed for recent poor economic uh, news coming out. But the good news today is also that the core sector figures just out are at a six-month high. So in a sense, there is political commitment to this economic growth and change. What's your take on that? Uh, Sonia, I recall the first meeting, you know, which the Prime Minister had taken with all the secretaries and his, uh, uh, you know, the first focus was on making India easy and simple. I mean, he wanted to roll out uh, the red carpet for all investors. And actually, uh, in a country like ours, wealth has to be created by private sector. Jobs have to be created by private sector. And we are well on track for that. Our economic fundamentals are very, very sound. Our fiscal deficit is, is fully in control. Our inflation is well in check. Uh, our uh, foreign exchange uh, deposits are very high. And, uh, you know, our foreign direct investments are at, uh, you know, 61% up at a point of time when globally it's 16% down. We are the number one recipient of foreign direct investment. So our basic fundamentals are very sound. And this jump, quantum jump of 30 ranks, big solid 30 ranks, uh, gives it accelerated momentum. It, uh, it establishes the fact yes. that this government is fully committed to structural reforms, uh, that this government wants to make India the easiest and the simplest place to, uh, to do business in. But let's not forget, uh, Mr. Kant, also that this is also a report which looks at India's two main cities, Delhi and Mumbai. And I know that the Niti Aayog had tried to introduce a basic ease of doing business amongst different states. Because after all, our big states, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, are still issues when it comes to ease of doing business. You can't just focus it on two cities. Also the fact you mentioned fiscal deficit, but we've seen the latest core sector figures out. Also some warning signals on fiscal deficit there, the issue of jobs which you mentioned. Uh, the Prime Minister said this at health MSMEs, but jobless growth is also a serious concern. So some uh, perhaps a more realistic look at what's going on. What's your take? No, uh, Sonia, actually this uh, study is important, the mm -hmm. World Bank one. It looks at several indices. Many of them are pan-Indian. Some of them are Mumbai and Delhi based. Uh, so we've made a quantum jump and I think with, uh, we should really aim in two years time. Actually, we've jumped 42 position in two years, in three years time and we mm -hmm. should aim to jump another 50 in two years time. This is important. But more important than this, I think, is what the government of India itself does and that is uh, making the states compete with each other, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and that's a ranking of states, that's naming and shaming, and uh, that's uh, shown some rem remarkable trend. I mean, states have really competed with vigor and energy 
you know, and uh, states like Telangana and Andhra have done very well in that. Right. But the important thing is that the eastern part of India, Jharkhand and Chhattisgarh, have carried out a slew of reforms. Mm -hmm. And if the eastern part of India starts doing well, the mineral rich states start doing well on ease of doing business, you will have a massive impetus to growth. You will have a huge push to growth. Right. And therefore, I think uh, ranking and naming and shaming of states has really worked. Competitive federalism, the uh, mantra of the prime minister, has really worked in this context.